Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in H2CrO4. So we use these general rules here to figure that out. So we know that hydrogen is going to be plus one when it's bonded to non-metals. And these hydrogens are actually bonded to the oxygen. So we're going to have a plus one on each hydrogen. We have two of them. Chromium, we don't know. That is a transition metal, so we don't really know the oxidation state. And then oxygen, that's going to be negative two, except with a few exceptions. So here it's negative two. And this is going to give us enough information to figure out the oxidation numbers for each element here in H2CrO4. That's because this is a neutral compound. It's not an ion. So all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So we could just say two times the one plus plus X, since we don't know the chromium, and then we have the negative two times four oxygen atoms. All that's going to equal zero. So two plus X minus eight equals zero. So that gives us X equals a positive six. So the oxidation state here on the chromium in H2CrO4, that is positive six. You may have asked how I knew that the hydrogens were bonded to the oxygen. Two ways. One, when hydrogen is in front of a compound like this, we're usually talking about an acid. So in this case, they would be bonded to the oxygen. The other way is CrO4, that's the chromate ion. So because we'd have the chromate ion, it's two minus, we know that this hydrogen that's going to be one plus to balance the charge. So those are the two ways that, that I was able to figure that out. <laughs> this is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element in H2CrO4. Thanks for watching.